Hey, hey, hey. I got a condo in Manhattan. Baby girl, what's happening? You and your ass invited. Now go on and get to clapping. Now pop it for a player. Pop, pop it for me. What? Turn around and drop it for a player. Drop it, drop it for me. And what? What is up, Bomb Squad? This is your girl, Lisa, and I am coming to you with another video. So as you can see, I am by myself. So that doesn't normally happen, but I'm starting this new venture, and it's kind of inspired by you guys. Listening to you talk and hearing your feedback. So I wanted to do something that kind of diversified the bomb squad empire for lack of a better term so i'm not artistic i can't draw nothing um i can sing but you can't do that on youtube because you get copyright so i can't do that so i decided i had to figure out what does everyone like guys girls gay straight everybody likes candles everybody likes for their house to smell delicious during Christmas time, you wanted to smell like cakes and pies and cookies. During the summertime, you wanted to smell like, you know, fruits and outside. Springtime, you wanted clean. In the fall, you wanted to smell kind of smoky and spicy. So I decided, yep, your girl is going into the candle business. Well, let's put it like this. I'm going to make some candles. And I might get some away. And I might sell some. But we're going to see what's going on. Oh, what is it about these little flyaways? They kill me. Anyway. Alright, so. I wanted to have you guys join me on my first set. So what I did was. Is I bought a candle making kit. To see how the fragrances went together. To see how to make the candles. To see the proper ratio. Because... This is sort of like baking. If I was cooking, if this is more like cooking, I wouldn't have to worry about the ratio of scent to candle wax and things like that. But when you're making something like candles, it's more attuned to baking. You want to put the right amount of wax in the candle that you're doing, and you want to put the right amount of scent in there so it would be not a waste of time to buy the candle if it doesn't smell good all the way down to the bottom of the jar. So what I decided to do was I bought a candle making kit. I bought some other fragrances because it does come with fragrances, but all the fragrances, all the kits always come with lavender. I really don't like the way lavender smells. So, I mean, if somebody requests a lavender candle, I'll make it, but I probably won't ever do one just on my own. So I wanted to show you guys what I got. So what I'm going to do is they're sitting here. Are you ready? Are you ready, Bomb Squad? Are you ready for this? Are you ready? So... I'm going between two names for my candles. I'm going between Hazy Days Scents because, um, um, you know, you know how much I love my grandma. And that's a play on her name and my name. So, and then the other one is Daisy's Delectable Candles. But it's going to be spelled with a Z. Again, you know, a nod to my grandmother because her name was Hazel. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the stuff. Remember those names because you guys are going to help me pick them out. And let's go. Dun, dun, dun. All right. So, what I have first is the candle making kit itself. That's the candle making kit that has wax and different things in it. I'm going to open it and show you guys. So, don't worry. I also got this burner it is different than the one I use for Christmas it's a single burner and it has a cast iron uh, base instead of the coil heater it's just even and it's just even when you're you know melting wax the only thing I'll be using it for is melting wax so I got these fruitalicious scents they're different smells different tropical fruits it's gonna go good and you know I had to get 
the bacon smell because everything is better with the bacon give me a sec guys i'm gonna come back i'm gonna open up the candle making kit for you and i want to show you what's in there all right hold on a sec okay guys and we're back so that is the candle making kit itself all right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna open the box dun, dun, dun. let's see what's in candle making do-it-yourself kit we're gonna see what's in the box let's go so the first thing to drop <laughs> first thing that dropped out of the box was a bag i don't know what bags were and these are when you have candles you have to have the warning labels on the bottom so that's what those are about not sitting in certain places and everything this is a thermometer can you see guys so the thermometer just tells you how much it's a little more accurate when you're doing things like that these are the wicks you have the normal wicks that you use Okay, you have the normal wicks that you use these are the little dots to stick them to the bottom you have the wooden wicks you have sticks it is i have a lot of stuff in here this little thing i don't know if you can see it this little thing right here little thing right there that holds the wick straight when you're doing a candle so you won't have the wick off to the side because if your wick is not perfectly centered in the middle of your candle it will make the candle burn unevenly i know you guys seen that when you had a candle that burns unevenly like to one side it's because the wick is kind of off center and you don't want that to happen this is the little spoon that you use to stir the wick because you can dye your your wax you can add scents to your wax you can have candles that you just have for the light you don't have to put any scents in them if you don't want any you don't have to put a lot of scent just depends upon you but you stir it in as you're melting all right so they gave me these little ah, these little candle tins i'm gonna take one out so you can see see <laughs> excuse me so they gave me these little candle tins let me see and that's just a pink kind of a uh, marble one, a purple kind of marble one. And the other two are a little more decorative. Can you see? Those are pretty. All right. So, kind of moving everything out to the side so we can watch as the box empties. What is next? Next is I am going to try to incorporate different herbs and flowers and different even crystals at the bottom of the candle because i don't want the candles just to smell good some of the candles will have a meaning love happiness um peace healing some of the candles as it goes as i progress and i go on in this particular field if it works out some of the candles will be more holistic in nature they have sage and and you can burn them when you move into you have a new house candle or or a new job candle you know everything like that and i make it so far as to you know if you ask me for a certain candle i might make it for you so we also have these little these are little molds where i can make candles it's a star i don't know what these are but you can make candles out of those you have little free form molded candles that's what those are it's a star and a heart and a circle i don't know what that is it looks like a ghost i don't know what the red one is y'all so, all right so and hold on hold on have more and that's for a mold for a rose candle all right rose candle be shaped like a rose won't smell like a rose that's crazy this is to i have no idea but we'll learn as we go along. It's a it's a stick for I mean it's like a it's like a um it's a probe. I don't know what it is. Look. Let me turn it that way so you can see it. Alright. I don't know what it is, but I'm gonna use it. Alright. So this kit was not that much, but there's a lot in here. And I'm gonna keep going. So ah, I got big. So that's the wax. So I have that's the wax and i'm going to be using soy wax or beeswax i'm not going to use the other wax soy wax 
burns cleaner. It's just better. So that's what's going to happen there. All right. So these are the little color cubes. Now you can use these to color. These little cubes right here. You can use these code cubes to color your candles. You don't need a lot. And they're so dark. And you can see the yellow one. But I can't really tell what the other colors are. But you'll be able to see them as you go along. You'll put that in and you'll melt that when you're melting the wax. So that's what that is. And we have the smells that came with the kit. Oh, wait a minute. That's more than I thought. Oh, I don't know. Clearly, y'all know I just be mine stuff, right? <laughs> I don't even know what's in there after mine. <laughs> Alright, so I don't know what those smells are yet, so I'm going to go over them in a second. But this... Oh, it's more color cubes. Look. Got six color cubes, and I got six different fragrances. That's crazy. That's cool, though. This is what you're going to use to melt the wax in, okay? Can you see it? It's just like a little coffee pot. But we're going to use it just for wax. It's going to be specifically for the wax. All right. So now you see that. So. All right. So here we go. Let's see what these smells are. Let me put my glasses on, guys. Hold on one second. Be right back. All right, guys. We're back. So what I did, I just took the little covers off so they just be easier. So these are the six scents that came with the kit. So the first scent is a lemon, then rose, then jasmine, lavender, mint, and ocean. I don't really like lavender or mint. Like I said, if somebody wants a candle with those smells, then I will do it. But I just don't like personally. That's a personal taste. Has absolutely nothing to do with whether lavender or mint is awesome. I just don't like them. So I also bought six other scents. So they're a little bit bigger but you know you can use these are the scents that you can use in your diffusers and candles and soap making all of them are basically the same you can use them for that particular situations so these are these are called these are fruitalicious eternal essential oils so that's what these are. These are Fruitalicious. So in this one, I have, vi I have Violet Sugar is the first one. It's this one. And then this one is Dragon Fruit Berry. It's that one. Orange Chiffon Cake. Kiwi Watermelon. Cucumber Melon. And Portuguese pomelo. Pomelo kind of smells like a grapefruit. For if I want to give y'all something to wrap your head around what a pomelo is. It's like if a grapefruit and a blood orange had a baby. That would be pomelo. And last but def oh sorry, camera fell. Camera slip, camera slip. And last but definitely not least, y'all know your girl had to get bacon because it's bacon. And look, first of all, why did they send the bacon essential oil wrapped up like it's some jewelry? Y'all see that? They got it wrapped up like it's jewelry. But it's not jewelry. But it should be because bacon should be given like a gift. Bacon is a gift to the world and it should be given in such a manner. So, because I was watching something last night, right? And this girl used turkey bacon instead of regular bacon. And that's what got her kicked off the show. Because she used turkey bacon. The recipe calls for bacon. Never, ever, 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 ever use turkey. Because guess what? That's not bacon. Turkeys don't have bacon. Turkeys have wings and legs and breasts. I cannot get this out. Hold on one second. I'll be right back. All right, guys. I'm back. So, last but definitely not least. Oh. It is bacon. Hold on, it's kind of focused, and I wanted to focus so y'all can see. This is how it came. It came wrapped up as bacon should be, like it's a gift. You know what I'm saying? And it's in the little thing, and it has a little dropper. So bacon came, the bacon smell came as it should, 
like it is a gift from God because bacon is and things should smell like bacon. And it does smell like bacon. It doesn't have an overpoweringly um, bacony smell, but it smells like the house after you cook some really good bacon in the morning for breakfast. That's what it smells like. All right, guys. So I have shown you the be is the beginning. You know, we always talked about doing like the um, the booty butter and things like that. And I'm not gonna say I wouldn't do it, but I will say this: when you get into doing things for like people to wear fragrances, lotions, things like that, you have to take in take into consideration allergies, skin issues, things like that. I really don't want to start off with something that could hurt somebody if they're allergic to something that's in my product or things like that so i wanted to start off with something that's kind of universal that anybody can use that anybody can have and doesn't cause any skin irritation so thank you guys so much for joining me on this adventure it is because of you the bomb squad that tells me i can do anything and makes it feels like i can do anything that i even tried to do this so we're going to keep having videos and i'm going to keep showing you um the finished product and hopefully this will be the beginning of something so back earlier i said two names hazy days candles or daisy's delectable candles so, in the description down below, tell me which one you like better. And that's the one I'll go with. So, thank you so much, Mom Squad, for joining me. I hope you click like when you came in, when you saw it was me by myself doing a video. But if you didn't, go ahead and click like for me right now. I really appreciate it. I felt all those likes. Thank you so much. Like I said, in the comments down below, Tell me which name you like. Hazy Days or Daisy's Delectables. Let me know which one you like. Um, comment what candle scents you like. And don't make it something normal because my candles are not going to be normal. It's not just going to be vanilla candle or or, or, or cucumber melon candle. Can't, not a candle. Nope. That's not what it's going to be ever. A candle. It's going to be like I'm going to have a candle named Champagne Room. I'm going to have a candle named the morning after. And as it goes along, we're going to have some adult candles, but I'm not going to put that in this video quite yet. But I will get you guys to help me think of smells that go together and we can make candles together for everyone. So this is your girl, Lisa. Thank you so much. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And hit this notification bell. Hit the notification. Let me do that on you. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Make sure you hit them comments down below. Tell me which name you like. Hazy Days or Daisy's or Daisy's Delectables. Hazy Days Candles or, da hey, or Daisy's Delectable Scents. Tell me which one you like down in the comments down below. And that's the one I'll use. Make sure and tell me about different smells you want. And don't just say normal things that you can pick up at Walmart or Yankee Candle. We gonna get a little, a little freaky as time goes on. All right. So make sure you comment anything. You can just say hey. So like, comment, share, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell so that every time I drop a video, every time we're making roll, every time we're, we're getting a little further along in this candle making journey, you guys can join me. This is your girl, Lisa. Thank you guys so much for hitting that button and watching this video. I love you guys. Bomb Squad, peace.
Yeah, yeah. DC Kool Aid and Lisa doing challenge on your head top. Yeah, you know what's happening. You tune in. Story times, pranks, and blogging, man. We a great big family. We the bomb squad. We on that grind to a number with a K. Best believe you'll stay. You can chill with the fam like most of y'all do. DC Kool Aid, Lisa, and Nick too. With Charles and Barbie living that YouTube life. We love our fans and supporters. We a family dude. So come on down to Bomb Squad's house. Have a seat watching videos. And nobody likes to hate. Keep it positive and have a nice day. Oh, I forgot. Smash that like button. Bomb Squad. Bomb Squad. Bomb Squad. Hey!